Abby, Evan, these pills could only be used for pregnancies up to 10 weeks, and local providers say they welcome the news. They support any action that would make it easier for women to have access. Under these new FDA regulations, it would be legal to prescribe these abortion pills via a telehealth appointment. So having a telehealth option would allow us to offer more clinic days and be able to see more people. We would love to be able to uh, provide that service. Trust Women, an abortion provider in Oklahoma City, saying they already offer medication abortion in person at their clinics. We know for a fact that if the goal is to reduce the number of abortions to make this procedure even safer than it already is, the only real viable strategy to doing that is expanding access and not restricting. Pro-life advocates viewing this as another threat to unborn children. When you look at a picture of a child in the womb, there is no doubt you're looking at a human being. Children are not an inconvenience. Children are beautiful and are valuable. And Oklahoma Senator James Langford taking a Twitter following today's change to FDA rules, Agreed. criticizing the president. Langford writing, quote, Biden is obsessed with increasing abortion. Now he's allowing for mail order abortion. Without question, Biden is the most pro-abortion president in history. This puts women at risk and takes a life of more children. Now, it's important to note with ongoing legal challenges to telehealth abortion services here in Oklahoma, local providers are unsure if they'd be able to offer these services that are now allowed under FDA regulations. However, if they got the go-ahead from the state, OKC clinics like Trust Women say they'd begin offering these services almost immediately. Reporting live in Oklahoma City, I'm Andy Weber, KOCO 5 News.